So how do you solve math word problems? That sounds really difficult, isn't it? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and word problems weren't my favorite either, and I still don't like them to an extent, but over the years I've learned to solve them via a few tips, and I'm here to share a few of them with you. Now, we're going to do an illustration, and then I'm going to throw in some clues along the way. Now, here's an example of a word problem. 3 less than twice a number is 15. Find the number. Now, if you try to take the math problem, this word problem, as a whole, it does tend to become overwhelming and you're not going to know where to start. Always tackle the problem one phrase or, if you need to, one word at a time. So, let's start from the beginning. 3 less than. Anytime you have the, f the f two words less than, 3 less than, a number less than, that means there's always going to be subtraction involved. That's right, if you have more than, that implies addition. So, 3 less than means that there's going to be a subtraction of 3. Now, let's move on. Twice a number. If you do something twice, you're going to do something two times. Did I say two times? That's exactly how you finish off the left side. Twice a number means two times a number, so that means there's a multiplication involved. So, two times a number. Let's call the number n. So you have 2n. Now, is, is will always mean equal sign. So put an equal sign right after the 3. And then 15, you now have 15. Now the time has come to solve the equation once you've set it up. The, set it up is, the, setting part, the setting up part is always the most difficult part. Solving it is much easier. So, you want to get n by itself, so you want to add 3 to both sides. So you have 2n equal to 18. After that, get to get n by itself, you divide both sides by 2. So you have n is equal to 9. So the missing number that you are looking for in that word problem is 9. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are some introductory tips on how to solve a math word problem.